Myth 14 can be formulated like this. The event horizons of black holes bend when two black holes approach each other because of a compensation of gravitational forces in the region between them, approximately the way you see it on the screen right now. It turns out that the event horizon supposedly collapses inward into the black hole. I cannot even imagine how anyone came up with this, but I have been asked such questions repeatedly. In fact, it is an attempt to describe black holes within the bounds of classical physics, which is inadmissible in this case. Between black holes that are approaching one another, there really is a region where the gravitational pulls toward both holes are equal. Throughout the space between the black holes, the resultant of the forces applied to a body really will be less than the gravitational force toward each black hole separately. An object moving in this region really will deviate less from uniform straight-line motion from the point of view of an outside observer. However, the event horizon of a black hole is determined not by gravitational force, but by the curvature of spacetime, and that is not a vector quantity. The curvature from two objects does not compensate for one another, but on the contrary, increases the curvature of space at a given point. Since at the event horizon, the curvature of spacetime becomes enormous, outside the black hole, given the finiteness of the curvature of space produced by various bodies, it is impossible to obtain the same conditions as at the horizon. Therefore, the event horizon is not capable of bending either inward into the black hole or stretching outward.